The original x rap brought slash bait technology to the top five feet of the water column. And now, Rapala slashes the depth barrier with the new x rap Deep 10. It brings all the same x rap features you depend upon in the shallows down deep where the big ones lurk. Out of all the new uh, lures that uh, Rapala has introduced in the past couple of years, and they're all awesome. This is the one I'm most excited about because it lends itself uh, to my style fishing more. This bait on eight pound test line will go somewhere between eight and 10 foot. And the magic about the bait is, is in cold, super cold, pre-spawn conditions, you can get this lure down that deep and fish it as slow as you want and keep it at that depth. And I mean triggering all those giant pre-spawn bass to bite. When you're jerking this bait down and you get it down in that eight and 10 foot of water, and actually what this bait does is as you jerk it and it has an erratic motion, about the ever, ever second or third jerk, it actually turns straight around and looks straight at the fish. I mean, it's the most incredible action. You've never seen a bait like it. You're almost making these fish feed on this bait, which is, uh, you know, in, in the fishing business, that's like magic. When you can make a, you can actually make a fish bite when you want to, this is what this lure will do for you in a pre pre-spawn conditions when the water temperature is cold. The X-Wrap Deep 10 comes in 13 popular freshwater colors to cover a wide range of fish species and water conditions. It features the same textured translucent body and internal holographic foil as all X-Wraps to create a realistic portrayal of the little fish that bigger fish like to eat. And no doubt about it, Rapala's classic feather tail triggers strikes. Then, the premium pyramid point hooks take over, sticking deep and holding on for dear life. Once a fish is on, it's on for good. You know, one of the things that you really notice about these two X-Wraps is the difference in the lip. And one of the key things when you're bass fishing is to get the bait to run the correct depth that the fish are. And if they're in like, say, a four to seven, eight foot zone, usually the short lip is gonna get down there to cover that type of water. And if they get real deep on you in some of these clear water lakes and the fish are actually coming out of maybe 15 or 20 foot of water, when it's real cold, this longer lip will usually get down there to that 10, 11, 12 foot zone. And when you pause it, they can come up to the bait. And that's what makes a jerk bait so good. Did you see that one bumping? Golly, he, knocked, he hammered it. I mean, now he thumped the tar out of that thing. I had to let it sit a long time. I mean, these fish are real sluggish here. I had to let that thing just sit there. Boy, I mean, he nailed it. Get it down to take you about four, five, six turns on that handle, get him started down there, and then just give him three or four or five little short pops straight down with that rod. What that does is that makes that bait dive and just let him sit there. Slash and burn, then pause for jaws. Just had to let it sit. That's, sometimes that's the way it is. Bringing extreme attitude and hard cutting aggressive darting action to a standstill. Down deep, in their face, then down their throat. Look out below.